As many of you probably know, Facebook just recently came out with a lovely update to their group API, which means we can no longer stream to Facebook using platforms like Zoom and StreamYard and all of that stuff natively. But the good news is there is a workaround that I am going to show you on how you can still use your Zoom meetings, which for us, we do every single day of the week through our GHL Mastery Program. So this is very, very important that we can still live stream into Facebook using our Zoom meetings so that all of our clients have access to the call recordings and all of that stuff. If they can't make the call, they can still view the live stream later on and still get the help that they need. So if this is you and you still need to be able to live stream from Zoom or other platforms into Facebook, then watch this video. It's only about five minutes long and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that with custom live stream services through Zoom in order to set up your live streams. So watch this video. All right, so recently, Facebook, in their infinite wisdom, decided to make a slight change to their group API policies, which meant that a lot of us can no longer use Zoom and things like that natively integrated with Facebook to live stream all of our content. And for us, that's a really, really big deal. And so I wanna show you guys how you can continue to use Zoom to live stream to your Facebook groups. There's a couple of things that you gotta look at. There's a couple of ways you gotta work around it. Um, and it's not quite as easy, but it's still very, very doable. So let's kind of dive into it right now. So first thing that you gotta do inside your Zoom account uh, is you gotta go to your account management and account settings right here. And then once you're in the meetings tab, you're just gonna search for live stream and you are gonna turn this on and you're gonna make sure that custom live stream service is turned on. Um, you don't need to put any notes in here unless you really want to, um, to tell people exactly how to do it. So this is the first place you gotta go, account management, account settings, find the live stream setting and turn on custom live streaming service. Um, and then what you wanna do as well is move this out of the way. And then just go and double check if you've got any pre-scheduled meetings or anything like that, um, we're just gonna go into the meeting itself and we're gonna go to live streaming and just make sure that custom live streaming is there. Now, I've already kind of pre-set up my custom live stream service for this one, but I'm gonna show you how to do it without having some of these custom things in there. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just dive into it. So once you've got that turned on, you are now ready to use Zoom to custom live stream, but there's a couple of things that you gotta do on Facebook first in order to make that happen. So I'm gonna go into my GHL Mastery private group here. You're basically gonna start a post and then you're gonna go over to here and do a live video. You're gonna click the go live button right here. And instead of using webcam, you're gonna use software streaming service right here. So this is gonna be a Zoom live stream test and description, whatever you wanna do. Uh, for us, obviously, we put the Zoom link in our stuff here so that people can jump in to the Zoom link as needed. Um, you're gonna have your stream key right here and then in advanced settings, you're also going to have your server URL right here. So these two things are very important. Um, I chose to use a persistent stream key so that it's the same um, every single time. So it makes it a little, a little bit easier for me to set up um, and get structured. But here's now what you gotta do on the Zoom side. So now when you go into Zoom, you're gonna go more and you're gonna go live on custom live streaming service which is gonna pop this up right here. And now you're gonna go into the server URL. You're gonna copy that. You're gonna paste that in there. And you're gonna go grab your streaming key. You're gonna copy that. And you're gonna paste that in there. And then your live stream page URL. Um, I am basically just gonna go, I don't know how to do this neatly, but probably just copy it. Um, and have it kind of ready to rock and roll. But I'm gonna say, this is the group that I'm live streaming to. This is the page that I'm live streaming to. So I'm gonna go right there and I'm gonna click go live. I'm not gonna save any of that. Since it's now preparing the live stream. So this is one of the biggest differences between um, Zoom and like Zoom live stream to Facebook and this custom live stream service right here. Because now what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna connect you, your live stream, your Zoom, to the Facebook live stream and there's all, it seems like there's a little bit of a delay, but when I did the live test the other day, it worked just fine. So now your Zoom meeting is actually ready to go live. It's ready to stream inside the system and all you gotta do is click this go live button and you are now live streaming. So it's a little bit of a workaround, but 
it still works. Um, it's a little bit of a disappointing thing that it has to go this way, but it is what it is. Um, so there you go. That's how you can continue to use Zoom to live stream into your Facebook groups. You just got to use that custom live stream and get those stream keys and all of that other fun stuff and get ready to live stream into your group. Hope it helps. Take care.